UK riots live. Far-right violence erupts in Manchester and Liverpool as bricks thrown at police. Far-right protests and counter-demonstrations have taken place in Manchester, Leeds, Belfast, Hull, Stoke, Nottingham, and Liverpool. Far-right protesters have violently clashed with police officers in major cities across the UK in the wake of unforgivable violence in Sunderland. Demonstrations taking place in several cities on Saturday, including Manchester, Liverpool, Stoke, and Belfast have already seen clashes with police and counter-protesters. In Liverpool, a number of officers have been injured as chairs, bricks, bottles, and flares were thrown. The far right has drawn condemnation from MPs across the political spectrum after disorder in London, Manchester, Southport, and Hartlepool over the past three days. On Friday, a far-right mob torched a Sunderland police station as eight people were arrested amid violent disorder that saw a mosque surrounded by rioters. The protests are thought to have been triggered in part by social media misinformation about the knife attack in Southport, Merseyside, on Monday, which led to the death of three children. Demonstrators clash in Blackpool before police arrive. The protest in Blackpool moved towards St. John's Square, where punks attending the Rebellion Festival were gathered. There was little, if any, police presence when skirmishes broke out between demonstrators and punks, with bottles and chairs being thrown and would wield it. In one clash, a man was knocked unconscious when he fell backwards and hit his head on the ground. Another man drove his motorbike at the crowd before officers arrived. Items thrown at police officers in Blackpool. In Blackpool, the situation calmed down but threatened to boil over again at about 3.30 p.m. as officers moved to protect the War Memorial and Metropole. The prom was closed and a line of police stood between the main demonstrators and counter-protesters. Shortly before 4 p.m., police on horseback galloped towards the tower, while officers in unmarked cars drove down the tram tracks. A protest march then proceeded, at relative speed, through the streets, including past the Hounds Hill Shopping Center, where some shops closed their shutters quickly, to Corporation Street and back to the Town Hall, where a thrown bottle smashed a car window and police used dogs and horses to force the crowd back. Items were thrown at police vehicles as a police dog tore a flag from two protesters' arms and then tackled a man. Sunderland residents helping clean up city, ashamed and embarrassed by disorder. People in Sunderland say they are ashamed and embarrassed after the violence in their city, but describe the cleanup effort as one of solidarity and unity. During the disorder in Sunderland City Center, a police office was looted and a Citizens Advice Bureau office set alight. A GoFundMe appeal has since been set up for the office, which has raised more than 3,600 pounds of its 2,000 pound target. Brett Redmayne, 43, saw the aftermath of the violence on Saturday after a police office was looted and photos on social media show a Black and Citizens Advice Bureau office, which appeared to have been set alight. 